Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 11 and compare it against the iPhone XS Max and see which particular phone is the better one for you. Now, what's very funny is, is that for some reason, some people actually like seeing this particular comparison. It's really one of the most popular comparisons I've ever done. And it's interesting because you're taking a look at the kind of mid-tier phone of 2019 against the flagship of 2018. And it's always interesting when we compare these types of devices against each other. Now, if you want to pick up some phones that I would recommend buying this year, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both of these devices, the iPhone 11 on the front is giving you a 6.1 inch Retina IPS panel on it. And overall, it's a pretty good display. I like this display a lot. I still think it holds up very well on a lot of different ways. But again, it is a pretty basic panel when it kind of comes down to it. Again, these types of displays aren't really working out too well when it kind of comes down to it anymore. But there was a time these were very, very good, decent panels. But again, this is a retina panel. It's not an IPS panel at all either. But that's just like another kind of minor thing to kind of keep in mind there too. But regardless, still a good device. Not too much to complain about here. But definitely not as good as something as like something like the iPhone XS Max, which is definitely giving you a way better display. Which is definitely giving you a way better display in almost every single way. This is by far the better panel, I would say. I mean, it's a 6.5 inch Super Retina XR OLED display or Super Retina OLED display. Significantly better, I would say, in almost every single way. This is the type of panel that I would look at and be very, very happy with. And this is, like I said before, the one that I would look at as probably being the significantly better device in every single way from this side. Now, in terms of the thinness and thickness, you're getting kind of like, you know, you're getting really good feeling phones from the both sides as well, which is really nice. You're getting reflective materials on both sides. With the iPhone 11, it's a little bit of a thicker device for the most part. But actually, I don't know. I think they're both pretty thick for the most part. But I really like this reflective material on the iPhone XS Max. The very top, nothing else really crazy going on, kind of what you'd expect. Lightning chargers at the very bottom, which is really cool. So you can just go and charge these things up. On the back side, you're getting your dual camera setup on the back side too, which is really nice. I do have a scan on my XS Max because it was very cracked. My iPhone 11, you're getting the standard glass back, which again feels very nice. There's not really that much to complain about here from that side either. You're still maintaining a really good build quality. Really, every, really everything about this phone is still you know good on the iPhone 11 and on the iPhone XS Max. Like I said before, there really isn't like anything super insane or crazy going on with either one of these devices. Again, wireless charging on the back side too. And the IP certification, there's a lot of overlap here. And there's lots of really, really good stuff that I like a lot about these particular phones. Is there one that's perfect? Not really, but I think the iPhone XS Max is a significantly better phone in every single way than the iPhone 11. Now, in terms of the performance or software side, the iPhone 11 probably has a higher likelihood of outlasting my iPhone XS Max. With my iPhone 11, like this is a device that's not going to, I mean, it's going to be a great device from a long lasting standpoint. It may not have as good of a display as the XS Max, but this is still a phone that's going to be better probably, or at least better in terms of longevity and software than the XS Max. But I could be wrong. Maybe these two phones will last the exact same time. I genuinely have no idea. We're just going to have to kind of wait and see what happens in the future. But that's kind of, if I had to kind of estimate, that's kind of what we're seeing as of this point. But the tennis Max is still supported and it's still going to be here for the time being as well. So that kind of covers it up here. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both these phones. The iPhone 11 has that Apple A13 body chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Where the iPhone tennis Max has that Apple A12 body chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM as well. So let's go and see which one's the faster phone between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are clear in the background. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. There we go. Pretty good stuff. Nothing else super crazy going on here. It's going to do mail, three, two, one. Okay. It's going to do something else. Camera, three, two, one. Photo, three, two, one. It's going to take a photo. Okay, so the iPhone 11 did seem to be kind of faster there for a little bit. App Store, three, two, one. And definitely the iPhone 11 was a faster one here. The iPhone XS Max, a little bit slower. Nothing super crazy going on here. Scrolling through, let's go and see what's going on here. Pretty much the same thing. There's not really anything else super insane going on here. Hopping out of here, let's go into some other third-party applications. Let's get into, let's see what else we got. Let's get into some, I mean, this is many apps. Let's go to Netflix, three, two, one. And I think the Tennis Max was probably better. Quizlet, three, two, one. Okay, iPhone 11 probably has been the faster one almost every single time so far. Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And now with these ones, again, you never know what's going to happen. I'd probably say that the iPhone 11... Okay, so the iPhone Tennis Max got into that pop-up. And even then, it looked like the... I mean, 
it's tough to say. I would probably say that the iPhone 11 was going to be faster, but the iPhone XS Max did have that pop-up, so we're just going to have to kind of, I guess, wing it from, from that particular side. But I think the iPhone XS Max still did really good, but the iPhone 11, a little tiny bit better here. Let's go and hop out of these things. So many pop-ups. Let's go and click play. Let's get into the actual game, see what's going on here. Not really too much different. It's stuttering on both, but I think it stuttered a little bit more on the iPhone XS Max. I've got both of these. Let's go and try Temple Run 1, 3, 2, 1. Now with this game, I always get into that you know pop-up of you know resume game main menu. And I think it's going to be happening on both. But even then, it got into the panel faster on the iPhone 11. So even though we got into this pop-up here and it kind of messed some things up, you were still getting overall a significantly faster phone, I would say, on the iPhone 11, at least with that particular game. Let's try Stack, 3, 2, 1. And again, this one is going to be pretty solid as well. Not too many issues, probably. And kind of the, the same thing, but the iPhone 11, I think, was faster to load into the ad. So I can kind of tell you when it kind of comes down to all these, there's not really one that I would look at and be like, oh my goodness, this is a significantly one, like, in every, like it's worth it to go and upgrade from the performance side. But I would probably tell you that the iPhone 11 is probably giving you the faster performing phone. I like both these phones because they are giving you basically the same amount of RAM. So that is always something that's good between both these devices. But I do think when it kind of comes down to it, you're probably going to be getting the better phone from a performance perspective on the iPhone 11 than on the iPhone XS Max. And it really goes to show because you're getting the same amount of RAM, but you are getting a significantly faster chipset on the iPhone 11, I guess, presumably, as we can tell right now. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. Now, in terms of the camera side, you're getting a dual camera setup on both of these devices. So it's a wide and ultra wide sensor, which is very nice. I love having these types of cameras and it's a very, very nice thing going on for both these phones. Now you're getting 4K at 60 on the front and the back of both these devices, which again is very, very nice to have. Like I said before, I like having 4K at 60, that's the bare minimum. And both these phones are going to be giving you that on the back. The 11 can do 4K at 60 on the front. The iPhone XS Max can only do 1080p at 60 on the front though. So keep that in mind. That's kind of a downside I would say with something like the iPhone XS Max. Now with this particular phone, very, very good device, you know, for the most part when it first came out, but it's only like a telephoto lens, so you're getting a 10x zoom here, then you're getting 1x zoom, there's no 0.5x zoom on the 10s Max. So keep that in mind, you're still getting video mode, slow mode, time lapse, photo mode, portrait mode, panorama mode, there's still a lot of overlap here, and there's still a lot of good stuff going on for something like the iPhone XS Max. It's definitely not the best camera of all time, but it's still a good camera that I'd look at and be very, very happy with. The iPhone 11, still a very, very good camera. This is probably the better camera I would say. This is the one I would probably want because of that ultra wide camera. I like having an ultra wide camera a lot more than just having a telephoto lens. I can always crop a photo down. I won't be able to get that ultra wide effect on every phone out there. So video mode, slow mode, time lapse, portrait mode, panorama mode, still like some good stuff here and there, but definitely if I'm going to pick up a phone, I would probably rather have the iPhone 11 over the XS Max, but it is pretty close to be honest. So in terms of everything, what I'll definitely tell you, I look at a phone like the iPhone 11, and this is probably the one that in some ways is better. I think internally the iPhone 11 is better. You're going to be getting faster performance and a longer lasting phone and a better camera as well, which is some very important things to have inside of a phone like this. Unfortunately, not unfortunately, but I guess the way you look at it, the iPhone XS Max is one of those devices that is giving you a way better display. So this is one that's going to be bigger, but you are going to be getting a bigger display in something like the iPhone XS Max which is actually something that I like a lot about this particular phone. So if I'm going to go through and get some sort of device, I actually like this thing for giving me that type of capability, which is actually very, very interesting. So I think that in and of itself is a very important thing going on there too. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up here for the most part. Get the, 10, get the iPhone 11, but the XS Max is still a very good second option. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.